What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so we had a we had a bit of a situation in our hands, and uh, yeah, now we have to go to Suchapolis City because well, it's kind of hot out here, it really is, and I'm not taking off all my clothes. Trust me on that one; you don't want that, or do you? But seriously, uh, last episode we woke up Groudon, and yeah, yeah, that little bastard caused this whole heat wave right here. So if ever you come out here to battle any kind of Pokemon trainer, yeah, you're gonna get a bunch of sunlight. Water type attacks will not work. Yeah, that's some crazy stuff right there. So let's go right ahead to the next route, Route 126, I believe. Yes, and we will be able to find. Sutopolis City right here. If you guys don't remember, we took a small tour of this place, battled everybody, and as you can see, the only way you can get in is through dive. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. Going to be using that dive technique, cool off just a little bit, and then uh, go on our merry way. That's right, look at that. And there's grass right here, so you'll be able to find some pretty cool Pokemon as well. But that is far from the point. We are going to be going in here because there is some shite going down and we need to save the world again. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, it is bright as heck. Okay, so here we are in Sutopolis City and, well, let's see, oh, we, already, we already have the right Pokemon for this. Uh, let's see, we have to go straight to, what's his name, Steven Stone right here. Actually, where in the heck? I might be finding some items right here. I don't even know, guys. But yes, what we have to do right now is we're going to have to actually find uh, Steven Stone. That way he can tell us the story about what's been going on and what we need to do in order to stop this whole situation from uh, taking over the whole Hoenn region, if not the whole world. And as you can see, it is a maze of a place right here in Sutopolis. They did add quite a few things, like a bridge here and there and all that stuff. I can't really see much because it's so freaking bright. But, let's go ahead and find Steven Stone right there, which, there he is. And, well, talk to this guy. Look at this. Draven! So, you have, you did come. I have been waiting for you. What a terrible heat. It feels like the entire world will be burnt away. Oh, damn. Ah, yes. Let's see. Ah, yes. You need to hear what uh, my friend has to say. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Let's see what he has to say. And look at this fantastic looking fellow. My name is Wallace. I'm the town's gym leader. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This drought is being caused by the power of a manting form from the Cave of Origin. Huh. That is the blue orb. I see. Follow me. Oh, well, look at that. We, we, we are very important. Look at the, look at the scenery on this. Internal monologue. This sunlight. People in Pokemon need sunlight to live. So why does the sunlight fill us with so much dread? Damn. The blazing sun over Sutopolis is growing even more intense. Soon all of home will be caught under its withering glare. If that were to happen... I don't know. Yeah, ready. So... Shite is going down. We're going into a mission. Look at that. The Cave of Origin is looking pimping right there. And you got the... Well, you got three Bonehead members right here. Look at that. Team Magma and Team Aqua. We've been waiting for you, yes, Scamp. Leader Maxi. To that child. I know what must be done. I will entrust you with this now. It is the fruit of our collaboration with the Devon Corporation, and it represents the height of Hoenn's technolo technological knowledge and skill. Oh, damn. We got the Magma Suit. Now, if you're playing in uh, Alpha Sapphire, the Aqua Suit. I'm getting messages all over the place. We can actually been, or we've actually, we actually, or wait, 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 hold on. Let me rephrase that again. We had actually been preparing that in anticipation of making contact with Browdon. But at this point, it doesn't look like there's any hope for uh, of that for us. There's nothing we can do except leave it to you. And yet, 
even with the magma suit, is probable is it probable that anyone could pass through that magma now? Fiercer than ever due to the forces of nature? That's true. It is very impossible that that it is that its energy could be far greater than our calculations show. There's nothing to fear. The blue orb he bears! Its ancient powers will protect both the boy and his Pokemon. You've hit the nail on the head. Those old folks at Mount Pyra did say something about that. That the red orb would unleash Groudon's primal powers. Vice versa, the blue orb will, you know, unleash Kyogre's primal powers. And trigger a small primer, a primal reversion. While the blue orb, or the red orb in the other version, had the power to reverse and calm the beast. Okay, look at that. Yes! The energy overflowing from the Cave of Origin just now. It is that same energy that gives Groudon the power. With the with the blue orb, which contains the power to suppress that, or with the red orb that, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. It should be possible to calm the rage of this flood of magma, or just flood of water. Of course, the blue orb's uh, power alone will not heat, or will not lead you to where Groudon awaits. You will not reach Hoenn's core that way. Use that suit that you were just given. With that, it will finally become possible to stand against the forces of nature. Draven, to think that you had the blue orb, you'll be okay. You and your Pokemon can handle it, whatever it happens. I believe that. No man or woman from Sutopolis is permitted to enter the Cave of Origin, but you must go, together you with that vo uh, the blue orb. You must go regardless of what waits for you inside the cave. We'll also get uh, our people together up top here to help any folks in the Pokemon in trouble. My little scamp of a savior. Looks like we're making you bear all the burden on your little shoulders alone. I mean, have you seen my shoulders? I mean, I'm a grown-ass man. I got big-ass shoulders. But I'm a little kid right here. Anyway, I'm sorry for that. But I know you're going to see th this through. Child, you. No. I have no right to call you child. Fellow trainer, I've caused great harm. And for that, I apologize most sincerely. But now we find ourselves in imp uh, at an impasse. And you and your Pokemon are all that humanity has to count on in its stand. Against Groudon. The fate of our world, the world, or the world upon which humanity thrives, the fate of our world rests in your hands. And your massive shoulders. <laughs> That's right, my shoulders. And, oh, hello! The girlfriend is here. What's up, baby? Draven. I heard the news that things were getting going haywire around Sutopolis, and then I saw you on the bus nav, Draven. I couldn't sit there and do nothing when I knew you were here in the thick of it, so I came flying. That's right, guys. Get yourself a girl like May. But isn't that Team Magma and Team Aqua? Okay, can I just say that I am, like, shocked and confused on so many levels right now? This is probably something way bigger than I imagine, isn't it? So I'm not even going to ask now. I'm going to try to find what I can do to help, and then I'm going to do my, my best with that. And I'm going to keep on hoping and believing that you, you'll be okay out there, Draven. Because you love me. Because, because you, you're the best friend I have. <laughs> she loves me guys she loves me she doesn't want to admit it you love me man you love me anywho let's see what you have to say okay so that's pretty much it that's right guys get yourself a girl like me has your back at all times okay so let's see what kind of Pokemon do I have right here okay so I do have the Pokemon for this uh, type of a mission right here it's just it's going to be a little difficult so, I'm going to have to teach, I'm just going to have to do a little bit of a backup plan, just in case things, uh, actually, hold on, just in case something uh, goes haywire right here. So, let's go with Guy right here, it does have a little bit of a speed, and let's see, replace, Thunder Wave, okay, so, alright. I'm going to replace a move that I can actually use, or I can actually, like, uh, 
re or reteach it. So I'm gonna take away Dazzling Gleam for the time being. I know, I know, but I do have the TM now, and then it's unlimited, so you don't have to worry about that. And just in case, we're gonna go with Hydra 2. Might be using Hydra 2 in this kind of mission right here. And let's see. Never mind. Okay, so let's just let's just stick with Gaia right now. Okay, so no, and yes, okay. Alrighty, so <clears throat> we're ready. Alright, let's do this. Maximum effort! That is the password. Not open sesame! So here we are in the Cave of Origin, and yes, you will be finding some Pokemon in here, guys. So make again, make sure to use repels. Uh, you're gonna need them. So here we go, repels right here. And let's just run straight down the hole right here. You won't be finding any Team uh, Magma members or anything. The only problem you'll actually have is Pokemon and... Huh. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. <laughs> Bless me. God, man, I always have that itch on my nose right there, so... Let's see, we're gonna be go do going down right here. And the further you go down, the more you'll find, uh, or the more it will shake the activity and all that crud. Oh, damn. Everything is shaking right there. Holy bejeebus. And it's getting a little foggy! Holy crap! Holy crapsicles. Man, my nose is itchy right now. And that is a Pokemon that we have not caught. Okay, I'm gonna catch you. Hold on. Okay, so it's a Mawile. Okay, I'm gonna capture that Mawile. Okay. Of course, Mawile, it is a Steel and Fairy type Pokemon. Yeah, it is. And, you know, you can only capture it right here in Omega Ruby Alpha Zap for Omega Ruby. And I killed it. Never mind. There's more. There will be more. Don't worry, guys. There will be more. And uh, Swap Lord grows to level 54. He might need that. And, well. Oh, damn. That is scary. Imagine doing this in real life. As a 10-year-old. That would be scary for just 10-year-olds alone. And, well, let's see if we found any other items right here. Let's see. Nope, not right there. Let's just go down. And the more you go, it's just like, god dang, seismic activities just scare the crap out of me. Alrighty, and good god. Something shitty's going down, and, well, as you can see, this is a... Uh, actually, I'm going to save the game right here because I kind of have a feeling uh, something effed up is going to happen. So let's go right here. Oh, damn. The hell? Look at that. We look like a uh, Red Power Ranger right here. The Goat Dra or the Goat Jason. Lee Scott. Draven changed into the Magma Suit. Alright, let's do this. Draven fitted the suit in uh with the blue orb. Oh damn. Shoot! Look at that. Oh damn! Oh, fuck. And Groudon just finds us, and, uh... We're getting a phone call right here from the Magma Suit. Do you read me? It is I, the Great Maxi. A device built into the suit you don you've done allows me to talk to you. We have received the readings from your suit. They suggest that Groudon has appeared. Is it my, uh, is my supposition of correct? Wow, he has a big la language. Does it stand by before you now? Uh, what do you think? You must listen. Do not waste a single second. Leap upon Groudon slightly mighty back. Then let... Oh, shit. Never mind. I do not know what he just said, so the sound could... Uh, okay, so that's kind of scary. So let's go onto his back. America! Oh, this is awesome. This is like funner than any ride. 
<laughs> Look at that. Maybe Groudon does want us to be his trainer. Good God. Holy crap. They tell me no go into the light. We're going into the light. Oh crap. What the hell? Oh jeez, okay. Okay. Alrighty. Huh. Well, you guys can't see the screen on the bottom, but the screen on the bottom not giving you any any uh, readings or anything like that. So, I'm going to uh, save the game again, just in case we screw up. And, well... Let's see... Ugh, oh, Jeebus. Jeebus in, in Christ. Okay, so let me check out my Pokemon to see what I have. Um... Yeah. I just realized something. Our best bet is going to have to be uh, Aaliyah taking a hit from Groudon to paralyze it because it is a ground type Pokemon. Completely forgot about that. Now, is there a move here that can actually help me with that? Like put it to sleep, uh, not not what you might call it, uh, burn it or poison it or anything like that. Rain dance, hyper potions, hyper uh, whatever. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like to me we got no moves that can actually help us out. So, yeah, my niece is going to be, oh wait, nature power. Nature power could be the thing. Hmm. Nature power. That could be the thing, but there's only one Pokemon that can learn it right now. So let's see. Uh, all right, nature power. Okay, so nature power actually does have that power to at least do something to it. So... Let's see. Oh, actually, that's power of punch. What the hell? All right, nature power. So let's give it to our good old buddy Sage of the Halo right here. And let's see, nature power. What would what would be a good replacement? Huh? You know what? Aerial Ace. I do have. I do have a Aerial Ace as a TM, so it's no biggie. Alrighty. Okay, I'm a little nervous right here, guys. Wish me luck. I'm gonna save the button again. Alright. Maximum effort. Let's do this.